Hi everyone, I would like to welcome you to this small video in which I will show you a new add-on I'm working on, so um, which is called Bee Painter. So Bee Painter is a painting add-on for Blender, um, which will make painting less of a hassle, at least I hope so. Um, it is um, designed to be more, more efficient, so um, currently if you're painting in Blender you have to switch between many tabs and be between many panels and um, I would like to simplify this and put everything into one tab here and everything is very straightforward so the most uh, often used options are at hand and um, advanced settings can be accessed over easy um, pop-up menus so um, this is what B painter will look like when you start Blender and go into the painting mode, mode and the cool thing is that all brushes are um, can be accessed from any blend file so this is um, blend file independent so if you load a blend file you will have all the brushes and you can save uh, that settings and all this changed set settings will be available in any blend file so this was one main goal for me and I wanted to simulate a little or something like um, a layer stack where you can add layers where you can merge layers and this was also a, a goal for this add-on so let's say I have this cube here and I want to start to paint on it it doesn't have any UVs it has nothing so I just create uh, or click a new layer I can set, choose between the layer type which can be diffuse, bump, specular, glossy, alpha and stencil. I will say diffuse and the resolution is uh, 10 for 20, 1024 by 1024. So let's create it. And you see it will generate automatically a UV texture if none is existent. And that's it. So I can start painting directly. Um, the cool thing is I can create new layers and paint on top of that and change the names here so layer 2 I can change change the opacity here and also change the um, overlay type or the blend type here so let's say I want this to be overlay um, if I want to merge these two layers I can just press this merge layer operator and here are all listed uh, textures of that material so I don't have any bump layers, I don't have any glossy or alpha layers, just the diffuse layers. And now I can uh, select the layers I want to merge. So in this case I have this two. It will automatically um, calculate the maximum size of my textures and set it here. And now I just say replace baked layer. If this is untoggled, it will create a new merge layer. So there it is. This is the new merge layer. You won't see any difference here. Um, so let's delete this one. And if I if I say replace baked layer, it will replace both layers. So this is the new one. And that way you can create many new images or layers and um, just if you want to try something out, just create a new layer and later you can you can um, just merge it down with the bake operator. So this is pretty easy. You can change the layer stack and you can also um, delete the layer if you like. So that way. Um, what else? So the brush, the brushes are very cool too. So you have um, a set of brushes which are already shipped with the add-on um, which is the brush default uh, sorry the anchored brush so you can just put it you have the default brush which is a very simple brush you have a hairbrush um, a particles brush Strangely, the names are sometimes a little bit off here. I don't know why. A structure brush, which can uh, give you some cool structure. And 
also a type brush. So I create a new layer, hide this one. So this is the type brush and an eraser, which lets you erase something. So these are the standard brushes. If you want to change something for a brush, you can, let's say you want to add a texture to this brush, just um, select the texture here and choose this one, for example, and that's it. So um, you can very easily change textures. If you want to create new textures, um, the textures are loaded images. So you can open this texture folder here you can create new categories. So let's say my textures. And now you see that uh, once you're in Blender, it will be displayed here. You won't have any textures in here yet. So just throw in um, an image and then it will be loaded there too. So let's say um, we copy this image into my textures folder. And now you ju just have to s select the uh, reload button here and the texture is listed so that's it the cool thing is if you make changes to this brush so let's say you want to save this texture here as standard with this brush just go over to the advanced settings menu here this is the little icon here and say save brush preset so now this brush preset is safe and it will always be loaded with this texture so let's say we make a new instance of blender go to the texture paint mode or let's open the old one so and if we select now brush default you see that this brush is selected or uh, set up this way here we can remove this one and just say save brush preset what we also can do is we can reset a brush so let's say you want to reset this brush settings here now you see they are reset to the old behavior you can um, tweak the texture here. Look, let's say we want to change the color ramp here or the, the tone map here a little bit. So that way you can easily um, change it. Okay, if you want to use um, stencil maps or you, uh, one thing you can also invert the mask here and you can show the texture if you like so that's pretty easy if you want to use stencil maps just select a texture here uh, grab it somewhere and start painting so um, you can also tone map this uh, stencil texture here you can reset the transform values and um, you can choose between some textures you can also easily add new textures by just dropping a few textures into here and that's it um, you can reset the cavity settings if you want to paint um, or make a cavity painting you can uh, make it here so just select the cavity uh, curve here and um, yeah that's almost it you can change the brush se settings here for example the curve um, if you want to paint on alpha or not the mode for the brush itself you can also enable uh, the smooth stroke here and that way you have everything at a very um, compressed space so you don't have to switch between many tabs if you want to go into more detailed settings just press the little icon here and you say see um, you can save palette presets the cool thing is palettes will also be available in all blend files so if you create your custom palette let's say we create a new one um, so now let's create a few color swatches here and now we can save it as my palette and save so that way it is saved and it will, will be available in all blend files um, for
for the brush we have uh, a few settings here like spacing scatter alpha we can enable and disable the symmetry settings here we can uh, set, set up a few projection settings uh, the bleeding dithering size strength and color and the icon here so that way you have very fast access to that settings here the same thing is for the brush texture you can also set a few uh, settings here and also for the stencil texture um, i will show you a small example here i'm working on this character or have worked and let's say i want to create a new layer which will color my complete character so i can create a new layer let's say now let's set it to color and we can let's choose a bluish color here and then just um, start painting that blue color here if you want to um, paint on the back side we just turn off these three settings here and just start painting so that way we can color the character very fast now let's say we want to merge all these layers here so i've prepared a small uh, layer here just hit the merge layer button it will set automatically to 248 because um, this is the max uh, max size of a texture now let's say you want to merge all these four layers here because in one i have this belly here and it will also only display the visible layers and that one uh, that are um, diffuse layers here's the bump layer specular layer i don't have any glossy or alpha layer so um, if we hide these two textures here it won't be displayed here so let's say you want to merge these and then just press ok and this can take some time because in the back background it is baking the textures and blender's baker is not the fastest one so yeah so that's it this is the baked texture here um, merged layer we can also set it to replace as already said okay so basically that's it I hope you like what you see um, I'm not sure yet where I will release the add-on but uh, I'm working on it and thanks for watching if you liked this video feel free to share it with other people and give me a thumbs up thanks for watching